<laughs> how are you doing so guys um how fine of course you don't have to want to keep wondering if i'm really fine or not i'm very very fine and yes i'm going to work on auntie's rice remember we came and helped her vesting so yes it's time to remove it from the husk and actually cook some tonight so guys this is how we do it in our village because we don't have the meal here so what we do is after picking it from the garden we dry them a bit we put them for some days on the sun to dry let me separate this and do them in bits Like you saw, I did this, but of course I want to show you how I did it. So we just beat it. And it's best done when you're kneeling down like this. You just keep beating like this. So guys, after beating like this, of course you scoop this one off. I think you now notice how I did it. Yeah? <laughs> I just wanted to show you that. So let me beat it more. But the, the thing is you keep beating it the way I've been doing it. So guys, the thing is, after getting the seeds like this, this one we first put it to dry. Meanwhile, the one which I'm going to work on right now is the one that we did yesterday. So we also left it to dry, you know, and it was really shining hard. Now this is the one I'm going to pound right here on our mortar, on the pesto right here. The pesto right here, you get me? So guys, how about we pound this one? Because actually, we want to eat some <laughs> for this evening actually the reason I'm doing it in the evening is that it was sun drying also earlier on today let me just get a broom and clean the motor you know the motor is used for many things you can see actually inside has millet the same way we, I'm going to clean this one is also the same way we clean millet guys you can see it has some millet particles. We also use this for pounding millet, or even peanuts, or even you know we use it for pounding a lot of things. So guys, I don't want them to mix. Let me first clear up this one here. Now this one, of course, I'm not yet pouring it because I'll still have to pound it again. Like I'll have to beat it again the way I was beating. Same as this. Only thing is I have to put it back on the sun to dry, then I can repeat the beating. That's why I'm not pouring it. It still has some rice on it. So guys here when you're pounding you don't hit it so hard otherwise you might get you might end up getting flour out of the rice so there is a way we hit it but not with a lot of energy <laughs> so that is the size here well heated
like this side more. <laughs> So guys, you can have a look. I hope you notice the, the difference. Let me just do this a bit. Just to show you that it's actually, I think you can see the husks falling off. Okay, this might be too little, but let me just winnow this first and I show you. It's not a windy day, so I'm actually struggling to blow it off myself. <laughs> the wind is not really blowing as you can see. So it's a bit challenging but I can just blow it and it also works out. So guys you might notice already that there are some rice particles already out of the husks but we are going to need to continue pounding so the thing is after pounding, after a, a, a little while you come back and, and winnow so that you see the progress and then also remove the husks off then you go back again and keep pounding like that so how about we go back and pound hmm? so guys tell me do people grow rice in your village i mean how do you people do it? Is it similar to what we are doing here in my village or not? Please go ahead and read and let me know in the comment section. So let's go back and win again. looks like the wind is blowing again I think you can see so when you're standing you stand in a way that the husks are not going to blow towards your soap that's why you actually see me dodging like this so the husks can go the other side depending on where the wind is going so guys this is it so all I'm going to need to do is just sit down and sort out these other ones and put them back to dry again because it looks like they're not properly dry. That's why they're not pounding off. But also this cannot pound, I mean cannot remove all the husks at once. You must sort at the end of it to make sure that what you're going to have on, on, on your pan, what you're going to cook is purely rice with other husks. So what I'm going to do right now is to sort, guys. Mm? Have you learned something? Have you learned anything new in this video, guys? Mm? Because I really, really wanted to show you this, and I hope you got it. How we clean the rice? Because I think somebody actually asked me that when I when 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 went harvesting. Somebody asked me that I should show you guys how we clean the rice. So I just did. I hope I answered your your request. Mm? Please let me know in the comment section already guys. Thanks for watching. This is Eunice and yes, it's actually pride. I mean, if you're not subscribed, why aren't you? Mm? Please go already ahead and subscribe. And you're going to surely learn a lot about my village guys because we have a lot of nice, interesting things and very many ways that we do our things very differently from how you do it guys. So don't you want to learn that? Mm? I'm out. Bye-bye.